How can we try to burn less fossil fuels? How can we consume less gas? As Europe is trying to become less dependent on energy imports, the focus is now on developing sustainable heat. Here in Lleida, Spain, researchers from all over Europe are close to realizing a new technology – compact seasonal thermal energy storage. If you think of uh, that people have not been able to store heat in a, on the long term in, as, as of yet, it's pretty revolutionary. So I think this, this could potentially bring a breakthrough into the way we see storage of energy. This container is just about to become operational after being transported to Jaida from Warsaw in Poland. It's not so strange that it attracts so much attention, also from the press. Sí, aquest projecte va començar fa dos anys i mig. Eh, ja vam fer una reunió d'aquest projecte fa un any i el, el bon funcionament de tot el projecte s'ha vist reflexat en que hem tingut la possibilitat de testejar aquest eh, prototipus aquí. Um, la instal·lació que tenim aquí, la gran diferència amb el que tenim a casa és que l'objectiu és poder utilitzar la calefacció només utilitzant energia solar i un dels punts claus per a fer això és l'amagatzematge d'energia, que és amb el que som experts al grup de recerca grea de la Universitat de Lleida. Ok, so this container is going to simulate uh, a system which is able to provide heating, cooling and domestic hot water in a compact system and also to store energy from the summer and release it to the winter to the building compartment. We are actually simulating the uh, single family household. So actually the heat is uh, transferred uh, from the solar collectors into the system where we have placed a 300 liters uh, tank. This connects to uh, all the systems and supplies uh, so this is connected to the uh, solar collectors that you have seen in the top of the container. The Merit's technology is based on a chemical reaction between salt hydrates and water, using thermochemical materials. You're able to store heat in a very compact way and almost without losses. So the process losses will be there, but uh, we will not have any losses in the storage itself. Well, yeah, if we uh, succeed on demonstrating that this is able to uh, be adapted to the market, yeah, we, this, this could be a key issue to the uh, uh, European energy uh, directives, so yeah. But creating a working, rechargeable heat battery is not an easy job. So you're bringing two worlds together, where you have difficulties of the novel technology from the lab and difficulties of the scale from the industrial applications, which is making it, I think, that's where the biggest challenge lies. La Universitat de Lleida participa en un projecte europeu per escalfar llars amb energia solar que funcioni com una bateria de cotxe o una pila, és a dir, que es podria fer servir quan fos necessari. És un projecte... Market introduction will depend on all kinds of external factors like um, uh, gas prices, electricity prices, um, uh, and also uh, if we manage to make the technology cheap enough. The next step is adding the heart of the technology, the thermochemical materials, to the module and then see how it performs. This is soon to happen in another place, in another climate, in a gas fueled country called Poland. Yes, it could be a, a huge revolution actually, if we could uh, produce heat in, in Poland in winter, probably we would need less gas and less uh, coal, uh, which is very good. It is very satisfying, I must say. It's just uh, when we first time seen the container, you know, mostly finished in Poland, but still it wasn't painted and it was still in a, in a pr preparation phase. Uh, and you see that, that all the work that you've done on paper and uh, calculations and, 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 and thoughts about the design are translated into something as, uh, well, impressively looking as, as, as the container. It really gives you a really good feeling, I must say.